Hi, welcome to another episode of Love and Relationship. Today I want to talk about the third reason people marry, which is a manipulative or a forced relationship. A relationship that happens due to manipulations or it's being forced to happen. You know, a kind of relationship where parents force their children into or a kind of relationship where people come into because of a situation or because of an occurrence or because of anything but not love. So we're going to talk about that kind of relationship. It's one of the reasons people marry and I believe is not the right reason to marry. So marrying because of a situation is like trying to solve a long-term problem with a short-term solution. And you know, it can become very disastrous at the end. So I find out that a lot of people decide to marry because of a situation. For example, maybe two people have a child together and they don't love each other. They are like cat and dog. They can't even stand each other. But something happened and they said, okay, now we, are, we have a child, we are parents together, let's just marry. I believe that a broken relationship is better than a divorce. So it is not good to force people to marry when they do not love themselves. If a Christian has committed a sin, it should be treated as a sin. Let the person ask God for forgiveness and change his or her ways, rather than we trying to force the person to say, you must marry this woman and you must live a, a, an endurable life and all that. I believe that God forgives sins and everyone will have a chance to rewrite his or her life. So marrying because of a manipulative situation will hardly work out. I met a man many years ago and I just went into his house and I found out that some things were not there. The furniture were not there, the TV and all that. And I asked him, where are your stuff? And he said, yeah, I just got divorced. And I said, wow, oh, sorry. And he said to me, ah, don't worry. It wasn't meant to last. And I asked him, but why? You've been married for five years. He said, yeah, we were not even in love. I mean, we married because we had a child. And uh, now, you know, we all have to go our separate ways and all that. So um, I regret, uh, maybe I wouldn't have even gone into it. And I, I look at that situation and I say to myself, marrying due to a manipulative situation is like taking one step forward and maybe two steps backward or even three steps backward. Because by the time you are now with the title of a divorcee, it's not as you were with a title of a single person. So it is very important not to allow situations manipulate you. Some people marry because of age. They feel like, oh, my time is going. I need to have a child. I need to do this and that, you know. And they just walk into any relationship. And at that point, they are vulnerable. They are open to anybody, you know, marrying them. They don't care about who the person is. Friends, you cannot stay in a relationship that is destroying your life, a relationship that you will not have peace. So it is not necessary that you must be married at all cost. No, you must marry when you find love. I believe that God has a time for every one of us to be married. I believe just like the Bible said, there is time for everything. And his timing also has to do with purpose. So not everybody will be married at certain ages, 20, 21, 30, you know. Some people will marry at a later stage, but they will still be married. I have witnessed a marriage of... Uh, a lady who was 50-something and a man who was 60-something, they were both marrying for the first time. I was there. It was awesome. So the truth about life is that don't allow situations to force you into a relationship that will destroy your life. The purpose of your life is more important than your marriage. So marriage is not a criteria to make heaven. So now, if you allow your marriage to lead you towards hell, because you see, when people marry for wrong reasons and they come into the wrong relationship, it can change who they are. It's like bad company cor corrupting a good person. So when you come into that kind of relationship, you were not an angry person before, but because you are always faced with this challenge, it changes you. It makes you become angry. It makes you become very you know, frustrated, and your life doesn't make much sense anymore just because of marriage. And the marriage is not profiting to you. So it is very important, friends, to be careful of why you are marrying who you want to marry. It is very important. Let it not be because of a manipulative situation. Let it not be a false kind of relationship. 
I've heard a story where somebody said uh, they're about to divorce, and I asked why, and they're saying because uh, our pastor prophesied us together, and uh, I, I don't even like this woman, I don't like this person, I can't even work with this person. It is not right for you to marry just because somebody prophesied a person to you. You have to confirm the person for yourself. So it is very important to marry for the right reason. And in the Bible, I find out that an example of a marriage that happened because of a manipulative situation was the marriage between Jacob and Leah. Jacob did not like Leah. He was being forced to marry Leah. In fact, it was a manipulative situation. He was working for Rachel. And the father of Rachel felt that, no, Leah is the eldest. Why would this one marry this one and not this? And then set him up and gave Leah to him. And Leah suffered in that marriage. Hey, Leah suffered to a point that even God saw that Leah was hated. And he decided to shut Rachel's womb and open Leah's womb to have a child. So maybe there will be some love for her. So you can see that kind of relationship. If Leah was the one who pushed herself to Jacob. You can imagine what she went through in that kind of relationship. She wasn't happy. She was frustrated. She was neglected. And even God saw that. So if you try to force yourself on a person, or you try to manipulate a way to marry a person that doesn't love you, my friend, you are doing yourself more harm than good. It's not going to work at the long run. I say to people that marriage is more of a marathon than a sprint. Marriage is not a sprint. You know, if you have a problem uh, in a sprint race, you have stomach ache, you can hold your stomach and run. Maybe, you know, just a few minutes, 100 meters, and you get there. But when we talk about marriage, we are talking about a marathon race, which you will just run for the rest of your life. So how will you remain unhappy for the rest of your life? It is not the right thing to do. It is not healthy for you to be in a relationship that you are not happy, you are frustrated, just because you were manipulated into it or you were being forced into it or you even manipulated your way into it. So it is very important not to marry because of a situation. You must marry because there is love, not because of a situation. You know, I spoke some way in a conference in this country, South Africa, and uh, a lady walked up to me after I've spoken and he said, but pastor, um, my reason is not among these um, four reasons you're talking about. And I said to her, okay, what's your story? And she said to me, you know, I said to God, whoever you tell me to marry, I'm going to marry. Just speak the word for thy servant hear it, and thy servant will do as thou hast spoken. So now, God, I don't know, she heard a voice. I, I'm not saying God spoke to her because we later discovered it wasn't the voice of God because the devil also speaks to us. So she heard a voice that said to her in a certain meeting, that's your husband. And she went on and initiated a relationship with the man and they started relating. And they later got married. She didn't enjoy the relationship. She went through a lot of struggle, abuse, all kinds of things. And she said she tried to stick it out. And she said, Lord, you spoke to me. I promise you I'm going to obey your word. But it wasn't the voice of God. Bible said, test every spirit. The things which I'm sharing with you are the things you use to test every spirit because they have confirmations in the word. God does not give us a burden we cannot carry. God does not manipulate us into things that he did not ordain for us to be part of. So when she went through a lot of stuff, she, she felt it's enough. She couldn't take it anymore. Instead of her going crazy or going mad, she decided to jump out. And I said to her, your reason of marriage is under what I call manipulative reason. It's a manipulative or a false relationship. So you were being manipulated by the voice you heard. That was not the voice of God. Bible says he will speak peace. He will speak, when he speaks to you, you will have joy. You will have peace. You will have understanding. So when, when you hear a voice, when you have a dream, you have to prove those things. Don't just see things and hear things and jump into it and say, oh, God has spoken to me. The devil gives people dreams. And also, people have dreams due to, you know, their thoughts, due to situations or whatever it is they were involved in. So dreams and visions and, uh, you know, voices must be tested. All of them must be tested. So she didn't test that, and she ended up in a wrong relationship, which she learned by experience. 
So that is why you need to be part of what we do. You need to connect with us same time every week to learn about how to know the right relationship, how to choose the right person, how to build the right relationship, how to enjoy your relationship, your marriage relationship. It is very, very important. Don't marry because of a wrong situation. And, you know, another reason I found out that, you know, that can manipulate people to marry is having sex before marriage. Having sex before marriage can also become a manipulative circumstance that make people marry the wrong person. That's why I say to people, abstain from sex before marriage. Because, you see, the Bible says when we interact with an harlot, when we have sex with an harlot, we are like one. So you can find out that spiritually you might be binded to somebody. You're bound to somebody you cannot deliver yourself from because you had sex with the person. You can see this person is going to destroy your life. You can see this person is not right for you. But you are being bound. So it is very important to abstain from premarital sex. And so your eyes can be open and you can know the right person. Because sex can become a manipulative tool in the hand of the enemy. So let us try to walk in righteousness. Let us try to understand what God has for us. And I want you to understand this. God has the best person for you. Whoever you want to marry is the best person for you. It's not somebody that you have to kind of, um, you know, stir up yourself to be married to or kind of force yourself into it or kind of push yourself. You know, I, I don't advise people to go on with a relationship where they are not joyful, you know, in it. It's a relationship like where people are encouraging you. No, can't you see he is, is, has this? Can't you see that is that? Can't you see? Any relationship you cannot see for yourself is a relationship you have to watch out for properly. Don't be in a hurry to be married. You must be able to be sure that this marriage is going to work out. You must have some level of peace and joy. I see sometimes, uh, you know, in some movies you find where the bride is like having cold feet or the husband and people are trying to encourage the person. And I asked my wife one time and I said, did you have any cold feet? I didn't have any. In fact, I was looking forward for that day. I couldn't rest. I just wanted that day to just come. You know, let's just get married because I love this woman. I enjoy her presence. I enjoy interacting with her. Nobody tried to stir me up to say, you know, just be strong. You, you know, you will get to love the person. You will get to do this. No, that's not the right relationship. I believe that whatever God does in our life, it must give us peace. It must give us joy. It must give us harmony. So, a manipulative or a false relationship is not right. And please, I want to advise parents, don't force your children to marry people they don't love because you are putting them in a very difficult situation, in a situation that they might remain unhappy for the rest of their life. They might even lose their mind. It might affect every area of their life. They may not be as successful as they desire to be. So it is very important that we do not manipulate or force people to marry, and that people do not marry because of a situation or because of anything without love. The right reason to marry is that there is love. There must be love before you go ahead to marry. Love will grant you peace. Love will give you joy. Love will give you, you know, grace to be patient and to work out your relationship. So friends, I will leave it there today. But remember, don't marry because of a manipulative situation and don't be forced into any relationship. It is very important. I will continue next week, same time, with the right reason to marry. That will be the last reason I have to share with you. I remember I said to you there are four main reasons people marry, and we're just talking about the third one. And for those who did not follow through, the first one is physical attraction. The second one is physical needs and wants. And this is the third one, which I call manipulative or a forced relationship. So please join us same time next week. You can connect with us. Check out our website, www.livingasoneevents.com. And we have written a lot of books that can help you. And we are even running a promotion on this book, Love and Relationship. It has so much to offer you. You find all this I'm sharing in this book. 
and it will change your mindset. You can get it if you're in South Africa for just a hundred rand, and it will bless your life. So please connect with us. Wherever you are, we can post it to you. It will deliver you from every wrong relationship, and it will give you the grace, the understanding, the wisdom to build an enjoyable relationship. Thank you very much for joining me today. Until next time, God bless you. You may visit our website for details of our events and register at www.livingasoneevents.com. You can also get our books on relationships. We also do counseling for couples and singles who want to make the right decisions regarding their relationships. For more info, please contact us on 078 255 4517 or email us at livingasoneevents at gmail.com. God bless you.